Hey everyone, it's Matea. I just wanted to share with you this album I made from the Prima Almanac collection. Um, I had been working on the base of it for a while, but I finally embellished all the inside pages today. Um, and I've been getting over being very sick, so um, I'm just glad to be crafting again. So um, this is what the cover looks like. And... Um, I've just layered several embellishments. Um, these corners are from Butterbee Scraps. Um, and I got those from Julie in Iraq. Thanks, Julie. Um, and I just love the earthy tones in this paper. So the binding is, um, you know, the, the base of the album I did based off of the tutorial for the lace book that Jeanette Scrap and Happy XO had done and I really um, enjoy making those. It's quick and it's a nice quality binding. Um, so I put some rosettes on the binding and then I just looped several loops of seam binding like a bow and then I've put down this um, art cake charm that I um, alcohol inked. And then on the cover um, this ribbon here is just some plain like muslin ribbon that I have and I've stamped on it with a stamp set from Prima and I got that from Crystal. Thanks Crystal. Um, and I just did it in a bow there. Um, I've distressed it with my distress stains and then spritzed it with some water to give it a tea dyed look. And then this is a um, engraver collection flower that I put there. This is a little tile that I got from Crystal. Thanks, Crystal. Um, and then I just fussy cut these clocks out of the collection and kind of collage them in there. This is a Prima light bulb. Really love that. I just recently got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is a Prima wood piece. And that is the cover. So, um... For the closure, I've just done some seam binding, crinkled and then some more of that hand stamped ribbon um, that I did. So I just love that. So um, first page, um, just some more of that ribbon from the other side that I stamped. This is a crown from Michaels and just a piece from the collection, a little tag poking out there. It doesn't actually come out, it's just there for interest. A um, couple of recollections flowers that I sprayed and a little doily. So very simple. I'm thinking this can hold some Instagram photos. Um, another cutout from the collection. A Martha Stewart butterfly. Just did some doily and recollections flowers with some bling there. And then another one of those crowns that I alcohol inked. And then this is some vintage tatting that I got from Jayzella. Thanks Jayzella. And next page, um, this is just a cutout from the collection, another Recollections crown, um, or Michael's crown that I alcohol inked black, a rosette, and this is an engraver wooden button, and then I just tied a little bit of cording in the middle for a bow. This is a, I believe this is a Prima Lifetime Daisy. And then I just had some scraps of lace that I put there and another Martha Stewart butterfly with some pearls down the center. So I thought that turned out really cute. Um, on the next page I've just done some more butterflies and crown, another one of those wooden buttons, some bling, and then this is just a cutout from the collection, and then this is some pretty lace I got from Gisela in a swap. Um, I love this page. Um, I punched out some butterflies and put pearls down the center. And then this is a Prima flower. And then I just looped some of this vintage black lace behind it with a doily. And then this is just the cutout from the collection that I fussy cut. And I'm sorry, my husband's making lots of noise back there. Um, 
just some more flowers, butterflies. These are some applique lace that I had in my stash. And then this is a gorgeous metal piece from Buttery Scraps that I layered with a little applique flower and a little acrylic flower there. Down here, this is just some vintage trim that I coffee dyed and some vintage black lace. And then I just messy cut that little banner thing from the collection. Um, and then on this one... I cut that out of the collection, some more butterflies, and then this is a gorgeous tile, again, from Crystal. I just love it. Love how it went with the collection. And then um, a Prima flower that I just sprayed up. And then this is a little piece of applique lace that I got from Heirloom Anthology in a rack a while back. And then this page, I love this paper. Um just did some of this really vintage um, like tatted floral floral <laughs> lace with some pearls down the center some more butterflies and I love this flower from Prima it's so pretty as well as that one they came in the same pack and then a doily in the background and another crown so this came together really quickly and this page I have some more of that burlap ribbon that I distressed and crinkled with some black lace and another Prima flower. And then this is just a cutout from the collection, um, some laces from my stash. And I love this background paper, it's so gorgeous. And then on this page, pretty much the same, just some more laces and cutouts from the collection. Little flower that I made with the rosette um, and then that pink flower piece is again from Heirloom Anthology and a piece they sent me, a little flat back pearl and some more butterflies. And everything I inked with um, black soot distress ink and vintage photo. And then on this page, some more rosette, handmade flower with that gorgeous applique trim that I had. It's vintage. Some more tatted trim. Another little tile from Crystal. And then I sprayed these Recollections flowers and just tucked those behind. And then that's just a cutout from the collection. Just as a note. Really cute and simple. This page I did a doily in the background and then a key from Michaels which I tied just a little bit of this tatting trim on and then a seam binding bow. And then I've put some spider webby doilies from Julie back there with some little um, punch outs of the butterfly again. And then this tag with a little cutout from the collection. And we're getting to the end. This is just a seam binding bow with another um, engraver wooden button and a doily. And then I have another Recollections flower there with a crown here that I alcohol inked. And then this is just a piece from a doily. And I just put that down there for my scraps. And another piece from the collection of the ruler. So I thought that was really cute. And then here, just very simple to end the album. Um, this just says, Today was beautiful with you. And that was a cutout from the Almanac collection. Some butterflies I punched out, another scrap of the ruler, and some more Recollections flowers. And the back is just empty. I might put a um, label there or something. Um, so that is my album, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Bye.